Hello, and welcome to Cardboard Adventures, where every card tells a story. My name is Jimmy, and I'm very excited to open up this box today, live on camera. Uh, so if there's anyone out there watching right now, can you please let me know if you can hear me and see the video? I do see that there's a couple people watching, so please, uh, if you are watching and you can hear me, please let me know and make sure that you can see the video. Perfect. Uh, Jason, thank you for letting me know that you can hear me. Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, Jason is on Instagram. He is Epic Collections. Make sure to check him out. Good dude. Uh, if you're not already part of Get It Shipped International, you can use my promo code Cardboard Adventures to save 55% off your subscription until March 1st, 2021. Get It Shipped is a great way to save for us Canadians shipping many, many items from the U.S., U.S. citizens can take advantage of the Save the Tax program. Check them out at getitshippedinternational.com. Thank you, Jesse, as well, for letting me know. Uh, you can see my video. Just let me know uh, where you're tuning in from, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, just let me know so I can make sure to give you a shout-out. All right, so we're just going to get right into the box. So hopefully we do pull something good. Uh the big hits in this is duo views. Uh, there's autograph version and non autograph version, and of course, uh, grand finale. Grand finales are numbered to 50 copies each. I actually saw a Gretzky one on Facebook this week, which was pretty neat. Uh, Jesse, thank you for following me on Instagram and support. Let's just dive right in. All right, so these are some super premium cards. It looks like we pulled a silver dog weight to start things off. I believe these cards um, retail for about $8, close to $8 Canadian a pack when they first came out. And went $96.97. Um, I believe it was SP. No, it is SPX. They had the Gretzky autograph. And that product is very tough to track down now because everyone just broke it for the Gretzky autograph. All right, we have a cool Mark Messier. And we have a silver Mike Richter. So this will just show you here what the odds are. It looks like Steel Universe 1 and 1. Um, oh, so okay. Uh, maybe with Steel that we're pulling. Bronze Universe is 1 in 3, Silver Universe 1 in 6, Gold Universe 1 in 17, Grand Finale is only 50 of each, SBX Dimensions 1 in 54, Duo View is 1 in 252. Alright, so it looks like we pulled another copy of the Steel. That's a Martin Broder. Some very premium looking cards. Not quite sure how many cards are in the base set. If you, either of you guys know, just let me know. And tomorrow at 1 p.m. EST, I will be showing a live case tin break of 2021 Upper Deck Hockey. Okay, there we are. That's a Timu Solani. This one looks a little different. So it does look like, I'm not sure if you guys can make it out, but at the top, there's more of a foil finish uh, to the steel ones and the silver, it's more of a matte finish. We do have 18 packs in this box, three cards a pack. So that's 54 cards. And this one looks like the bronze. 
given that you do get it inserted in every single pack, the odds of pulling a full base set are probably probably unlikely. All right, we have a nice Sergei Fedorov here. I always really like the Nike gear on him, especially the white skates. Those are pretty neat. Uh, Alexei Yashin and nice, a bronze Paul Korea. Paul Korea is one guy who had an amazing career, but he's just not um, now, I guess, in the hobby. He's not crazy like he was before. He's actually quite affordable still. So uncomparable like Eric Lindros, for example. Uh, any of his rarer stuff is quite expensive. All right. This is definitely a Doug weight box. We've pulled quite a bit of weight, and we have a Wayne Gretzky, which is nice. Wayne Gretzky is definitely one of the hotter items in the hobby right now, and his stuff, even his, like, base cards, you can get, you know, upwards of, you know, $8 a base card. It's just been crazy lately with what's going on. And Jesse's just sharing that he had a nice stack of Fedorovs back in the day. Uh, hopefully you still have that stack somewhere, maybe stash in your parents' basement. Pat LaFontaine, a guy who had uh, lots of talent, but unfortunately career was cut short due to concussions. Jeremy Yeager, uh, another guy who's really hot in the hobby right now. And a steal of Brett Hall. All right, so we have a John Van Beesbrook, Scott Stevens. I never liked Scott Stevens just for the way that he played and uh, the damaging effect his hits had on uh, careers. Most of his hits today would have uh, resulted in suspension. All right, we have a nice Pablo Burry. That is a um, steel version of the card. Pablo Burry is another guy who's incredibly hot in the hobby right now. And... Pretty much any of his rarer stuff, good luck getting it for a good price, especially on eBay. I know many, many gray collectors who are just crazy for that rare stuff. All right, so we have a Yinla, Owen Nolan with a really nice retro Sharks jersey, and a bronze version of Ed Jovanovsky. Ed Jovanovsky was, if you can remember, in the mid-'90s, a huge prospect Unfortunately, his career didn't really go the way that people thought it would, but he was still a decent defenseman in the league for many years. I do recall the hype was just huge for him. Um, but unfortunately, I guess he didn't have um, the greatest career. All right, Steve Eiserman, Daniel Alfredson, and a bronze of Joe Sackick. I was carefully looking at the back when I opened that. He does have a dual view card, which would be neat to pull. I am hoping it would be nice to pull a dual view of Patrick Waugh. But I know the odds of pulling one are quite long. And we have a steel card of Alexa Yashin. Unfortunately, uh, Alexa Yashin is another guy who is not incredibly collectible in the hobby. I think he just rubbed people the wrong way, but man, was that guy talented. All right, there we go. Jason, we have a Peter Forsberg base card here. And you can just see uh, how neat those holographic images are on the card. We have a Brian Burrard and a steal of Ron Francis. Ron Francis is another guy who doesn't get much love in the hobby. Not quite sure why. He was a great player, very talented, and I'm pretty sure he's top 10 all time in scoring. And you can pick up his RC for before it was five or 10 bucks, but I'm sure with the boom, it's probably more than that now. In general, the 82, 83 
set has really seen an increase in price. There's a nice Patrick Waugh, Adam Oates, and the next card stuck together. Joe Juno. Joe Juno had an amazing rookie season and never really seemed to be able to um, get to that level again. He was still a great player, but just not to the level of that 92, 93. So yeah, back to the 82, 83 OPG set. For the longest time, you could get it for, you know, $100 Canadian. And the prices have gone up. And just to find a centered Grant Fuhr is incredibly tough. All right. So we have a Jason Arnett. Yanni Ninema, two guys, both who were big prospects, but never uh, went on to, they went on to decent careers, but not what was expected of them. And a nice silver Patrick Waugh. That's a really nice card. And if you can see the Coho deer, man, that's sweet. Patrick Waugh, actually, when he first started wearing Coho, couldn't stand them and actually had. I don't know if it was his trainer or someone who dealt with his equipment had to restuff the pads. And then he made Coho make pads like the ones he wanted because he just said the stuffing in them was awful. All right. I think we're down to three more packs. And it's been a pretty straightforward standard box. We haven't even pulled one of the gold version yet. We have a Brendan Shanahan. Another guy who's kind of faded off over the years in the hobby, Mike Richter, and uh, Theo Fleury. Theo Fleury, great player, um, not a giant of a man, but played like he was bigger than his, I believe, five foot six he was listed at. All right. So we have a Paul Korea. Peter Bondra, and a bronze Brendan Shanahan. We are on to the last pack. Hopefully, we can hit something good in this last pack. All right, I do see something different in the last pack. It is we have Dominic Hasek, and this looks like to be a gold of Rob Blake. So we did land a gold card, which is pretty sweet. And, um, oh, nice, a silver Jerome Ginla. So let's see what were the gold. Gold Universe was 1 in 17, so you should have gotten one per box, which we did. And Silver Universe is 1 in 6. So, again, we only had 18 packs, so the odds of us getting Dimensions or deal view are, um, you know, the, weren't likely. I do like this product quite a bit. As I mentioned, the base cards are quite premium. And I'm able to pick up, um, unfortunately, this was the only sealed box I could find. Um, however, I do know someone that could set me up with a few packs of this. So I will certainly be opening more packs of this. So I definitely hope that you guys all enjoyed my pack opening video tomorrow. As mentioned, I'll be doing a live break of 2021 Upper Deck 12 tin case tomorrow at 1 p.m. EST right here on YouTube. And please make sure to uh, hit the like button here and subscribe if you have not already done so. And I believe everyone is following me here on Instagram at Cardboard Adventures. But if anyone's watching this, please check me out. I do post lots of um, hockey related posts, not just cards all the time, but you know, videos of, of the 90 stars, 80s even more recent players. And uh, thanks for the comment there, Jason. I'm glad that you enjoy the cards. I'm sure we'll be, we'll be talking about a couple of cards that you'll probably want um, from this break a little bit later. But thanks again for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys next time.